Welcome to the continuation of our little series. So in this video, I will be reinstalling the cylinder head along with the brand new Honda gasket. Uh, like I said in this last video, I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall everything. I'm not going to take it into the machine shop because if I do, I'm probably going to rebuild this whole car and I'm going to find myself still being two three four years later still in Arkansas and that's not the plan so um as I said in the last video as well issue I've been running into um well the issue that I think is the cause of one of the ARP studs especially the one that's sitting where it, where it was leaking I would find a pool of coolant sitting here sometimes it would go off the transmission and it create a puddle on the ground um, this one is pretty loose. I don't know if I didn't tighten it properly or it just backed off. You know, these things happen. So, you know, I've been searching all last night. I went on so many forums. It doesn't matter if it was a Honda forum, a Toyota forum, a Nissan forum. Anything that has any real relations with Cometic head gaskets or just head gaskets in general while using ARP studs. So, I guess I'm just going to put everything back together. And hope for the best. The car wasn't overheating, so that's a plus. It was just leaking that small drip of coolant. My uh, my compression test, everything was even straight across. It was around 190, and when I put oil in it, I do a wet test. Um, it'll jump up to 210, which is not. I don't think that's bad. So, that's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rebuild or take anything back to the shop um, so let's begin alright guys so here I have in front of me are the ARP studs I made sure I clean them off thoroughly try to get as much of the old lube off so one thing that I thought I did which didn't make any sense but I was just trying to figure out why would it back off I probably had these wrong but you can't put them wrong they're dummy proof uh, one end goes into the block the end that looks like it has that protrusion that's the side that goes into the block and this is the side that's facing up if you notice there's a allen head and that just helps you to snug this side into the block um, so that's that and over here I have the washers and the nut itself another thing I thought I did wrong was had these uh, these washers facing the wrong way now for my kit I do not see any chamfered edge um, if I'm pronouncing that correct I don't see any cham chamfered edge it's just one round washer if I had the chamfered edge I want to make sure that side is facing towards the, the cylinder head like I said, I, I, they look like regular washers to me. That's, that's the one that came in my kit. And you gotta make sure you have the sauce. I had this stored properly, so I have a lot left. Then I'm gonna get the jar when I have a lot more bills. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I'll just show you guys with one real quick. In. Like I said, that side with the protrusion into the block. We have eight of them, two, four, one, two, three, four, five, so ten. I'm sorry. So um it's all optional. You could put Loctite in the end, on the end of yours. I'm not going to. Um, I didn't have any problem with these turning. Uh, it was just loose. The nut was just loose on the thread at the top side. So I'm gonna do that with all of them. I'm gonna do them dry. If you're doing this for your first time, you do not put any ARP lubes on this side. No ARP lube. Just either Loctite, red or blue. So if you want it to be a temporary fit or just to be more secured if you're using a blue one. So yeah, let's do that.
All right, guys. So I have the studs tightened. I, I kind of uh, well, I tightened them a little bit tighter this time. So the last time I just snug them, but this time they're like real, they're in there good. So, um, but you don't want to use something like a, <laughs> a ratchet or a breaker bar that's going to create a lot more more torque. So you accidentally like break them or strip your threads. So now that's done. I'm going to grab my dowel pins. They go at the front of the block. So one here, one there. Grab the new Honda gasket. And after that, I'm going to apply a lot of lube this time to the threads. Last time what I did, I put the head on and then I put the lube on the nuts themselves and a little bit on the on the threads because after you put the head on there's not much thread sticking out so um, I'm just gonna do it before I install the head so I'm doing it. the dowel pins are installed Gonna make sure they're seated flush. Now I have the Honda gasket. I don't know for some reason Honda gasket looks a lot more convincing <laughs> than the uh, Cometic. The Cometic. Um, just make sure I have this right. Nope, oh, wrong way. And yeah, you can tell because you want to make sure the the, the necessary holes. Pulling holes and the oil holes are lined up properly. So you really, well, I think you really can't mess this thing up. off and it says this it should only can go one way I don't see how I can really mess this up all the correct holes are matching up um, I was thinking about getting some gasket spray like some copper spray but I'm just gonna trust it up to the Honda gasket just to if my head is or my block or both of them are out of spec or at least within the service limit it will compensate for that for that uh, that gap so hopefully this would seal but um yeah so now i'm gonna go ahead grab the sauce secret sauce arrow lube and i'm gonna put a generous amount on each stud Alright guys, so I'm going to drop the head onto the studs, trying to be careful not to nick any of the threads, which is the hardest part. Just when you have a sidewinder attached to your head. Hey, at least that went better than the first time I've done it in the house. So, yeah. So in the head, I gotta make sure I drop it a little bit better. So I'm gonna, cause it's hitting on against a dowel pin, so I just tap the sides. There we go. Here it went into the dowel pins should be good and right, I'm gonna install each washer I'm just gonna put these in dry last time I, I lubed them but I'm not a smart guy here but I just figured if it's slippery when it gets in contact with the um, with the, the nut it may throw off the reading I don't know so I'm just gonna install these dry 
Let's see. I'm here to learn, guys. So. me so I'm down to my final torque spec so ARP recommends tying these down to 80 foot pounds and um, spread it down to three sequence so what I did this time different I did last time when I torqued these down there were 40 I did to 40 60 and 80 now I'm doing 45 65 85 I ran to say the same situation some of them still turn on me so what I did once it turned on me I back off and then I turn it again, kept going until the beep, because this is a beep type torque ring, and it'll beep once it gets to the spec. I just kept going until I heard just a consistent beep. Um, what else? Um, hopefully that extra um, increment that I add, that five pound increment, this is technically an extension, I guess, because I have to put an adapter on it, because this is a 3 8 torque wrench. The socket is a half inch, so I need to put a 3 8 to a half inch adapter so I can use this socket. Again, this is a 13 point, uh, 12 point 13 millimeter socket for the ARP nuts. So, um, if you're using your stock bolts, you just dip them in some oil. And I think Honda recommends torquing those to 20 something, 29, I think. Like I said uh, in all the videos, make sure you have your manual. I'd rather you listen to the manual than listen to me. This is just for reference. So um, I'm going to start inside out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And yeah, should be good to go. So let's start with the first one. This is when it's going to get real tight, real hard. I'll put you guys in the time lapse. Five. See, this is where it's hard. I had to even have Raisa help me when we were doing it on the stands, on the engine stand. And I thought I was gonna fuck shit up. Man. All right. Well, a little bit over, but that's okay. I'm just going to do the same for the rest of these. If you guys are doing this for your first time, you just want to, want to make sure that you're flush, your socket is, you know, perfectly firm onto the nut, because you don't want to round it off. Say if you have it at an angle, make sure it's straight down. So, you can hear by me panting. Panting my breath. That's 85 foot pounds. So, I hope this shit works. All right, guys, so, that's it with this video uh, so hopefully this helped an overview and installing your cylinder head gasket your cylinder head and torquing down if you have ARP or OEM Honda bolts uh, again if you're doing this for your first time always remember to check with your instruction manual whether it's a Hanes or the official Honda manual and read instructions properly so uh, I did show it in the last video, but let's go over to the snap-on table for champions. And uh, you guys want that part number for the head gasket? It's 12251-RBC-004. So um, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe um, a few of the head gaskets 
interchangeable. I won't take the risk. I'll just go ahead and get the one for your specific engine so you don't confuse shit up. Mess shit up. I still have the Cometic head gasket. I'm just gonna keep this at the side. Maybe if I do another Honda build. Um, thing is, thing is still good, man. So, I mean, I'm just hoping it's the combination with the ARP studs, or maybe it's just hopefully the studs weren't tight enough. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, in the next one, we will be doing the timing setup. And I guess I can do a quick tip on how to take the VTC gear off. Because uh, like I said, I'll be using my K24A2 camshaft. That's the only thing I'll be changing on the head gasket. Hopefully that improves improve some low-end power. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.